the Rob's Fix-It Shop. As you can see, I've got my microscope on the bench here, and it's not because I'm going to fix something small, but um, that's what I use it for. I like when I'm using a small circuit board, like like in this old junk Kindle or whatever. Um, it's nice to have a microscope that you can uh, take a closer look. I do have the magnifying light, but some stuff is just so small, it makes it so much easier. And uh, so I bought this a couple years ago, and I bought it with, um, it's a trinocular because it's got the two eyepieces, but then on the back here, it's got uh, a port for a camera. So I thought, well, I want to buy a camera for it. And I went on Amscope, this is an Amscope brand um, uh, microscope, and all they had, they had cameras that they provided, but those cameras all needed software that ran on your computer. And uh, I don't want that. I want a camera that can output HDMI and then I can bring it into my, um, I use, I've started using OSB or OBS, OBS Studio for doing videos. And I wanted to be able to bring that directly in or watch it on a TV just using HDMI instead of having to have special software. And so a lot of the cameras had special software associated with them, even though they'd be able to just plug in. So I tried to figure out a way that I could buy a decent camera and attach it to this guy. And it took me a little bit to figure out. So I thought I'd just make a video of it, if anybody else is interested in it, um, of what I came up with. So here's our microscope from the top. So it's got this port here right here and um, you know, if we look at it it's you know about 27 millimeters I don't know approximately and um, the microscope came with this thing here right and it's got a little thing you can kind of open up right and that screws into here so screw that into there but then I wasn't sure how to go from here to the camera, right? And so I bought this camera. It's a, a high year. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, it was about a hundred bucks. It has HDMI coming out. It's got USB um, and stuff to do some setup on it, right? And so I wanted to connect this onto here, right? And it was like, I don't know, I mean, you look here this is what's called uh, a type c mount and kind of a standard mount for a camera and there didn't seem to be any way to connect from here to here and i tried just kind of making something on my 3d printer and putting that on there like that did not work right i clearly have no idea what i was doing and so what amscope has is they've got one of these adapters here right and it's made so that it can slip it's too small for one of these I'd need a different adapter but I think it I think it's made so that it can also slip into one of these adapters if it's got um, what is the size this is a little over 23 millimeters so if you have a 23 millimeter port I think it can fit in there I'm not exactly sure about that but when you buy this guy it's got some lensing in it right and then some lensing in here and then that just slides in like that, right? So then I've got my camera, right? And this camera, you see the size of the imager in there? And I think that's one over 2.3. So about a half inch imager. So that, this thing takes that, um, the image from the microscope and gets it so it works pretty good with this camera. So let's just take a look. I just got to screw that on there. And I think type C is kind of a standard camera mount. All right. So there we got that on there. All right. So there, there we have our image coming in and, um, and so now we just turn this guy here. And like I said, this barrel came with the, with the microscope. We turn that out. And look how nice that image is, right? Doesn't that look great? So now let's take it and let's put it right into our um, uh, collection, uh, right into the computer.
Okay, so now it's coming right into my video feed, right? So you can see as I move my part around. And I'm going to look right through the, the glass. Yeah, and it really works nice. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oops, I got my reading glasses on. Yeah, so I'm happy with the resolution. And you've also got like a, uh, this camera comes with a remote. And uh, it's too far away for me to read. Um, you've got a, a number of different settings for, um, you know, like white balance. So it's lined. So yeah, there's a bunch of different settings. Um, let's see. Black and white. Oh, fancy. Sepia, in case you want that old Western look when you're working on your circuits. Whoops. I gotta go back to color. Um, so you could switch. There's just a bunch of stuff to play with. Um, hmm. So it's a pretty fun camera and it wasn't too expensive. Um, it really seems to do the trick. And then you can also, you can put a, a card in the, um, you can put a card in the top of the camera and I guess it'll stream onto the, um, onto the SD card. So now instead of coming in, so now I'm feeding directly to my, my computer with just the USB out. And um, nice thing about the USB out is that it doesn't require the, the adapter, the power adapter, um, but it does seem really responsive. Here, let me switch it over. So here's the here's the part that I got to kind of connect the, the camera with the Type C mount. Um, so this is an Amscope FM A50, 050, and it has a 0.5 magnification. And I think so. If you take a piece of paper here, I'm just going to shut the lights off. And if I lift the paper to about where the imager would be, you see that it, it is about the right size. Um, I don't know, maybe you can't see that. But it's about the right size for that imager, right? And the camera's got uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution on it. So it's really quite a nice camera for, for doing this. Uh, I think I paid, I looked, I, I paid about 100 and uh ten dollars for it and then this thing was about i think 40 bucks for that and so you know you're getting into 150 bucks for this but it's pretty nice i mean i i wonder now when i do my soldering if it's going to be easier to look at the tv i'll have to check that out so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i like i say i i'm not an expert on this i just had trouble figuring it out myself and so i thought it'd be fun to put together a video and so if you're interested, you know, if you've got a, a microscope like this and you want to put a camera on it, uh, there's a little bit of information about, you know, how I got it to work. And uh, you can try that yourself. And um, so if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.